I didn't read it yet, but I thought I saw something with the XBB. Dededo resident Tom Medler is one of many who received a message making its rounds on WhatsApp claiming the XBB variant of Omicron is deadlier, more contagious and different from what we've seen so far. It's been uh, circulated on a couple of my chat groups, but I think it's been deleted because there's been a, I guess, a release that it's, uh, it's, it's false. It's a false COVID health advisory reaching far and wide even to former Senator Louis Forha. The viral message causing the Department of Public Health to clear the air through a press release. Public Health Chief Medical Officer Dr. Bob Leon Guerrero says while XBB severity rate does show the strain to be contagious, it may not be as severe. KUAM found the viral message is also similar to one that circulated in other nations last year that has since been debunked. And while many have moved on from COVID-19, I'm not really worried about it now. Well, why is that? Because it seems to come and it goes fairly quickly and then they have a new one come out. I've only experienced like a couple of people who've had COVID, but I, I generally think that people are very used to now taking the necessary precautions. With several feeling no threat from the virus? No. I'm not worried about it. Been there, done that, that's it. I don't think uh, we're going to have it again unless people don't listen and follow the health regulation. I think it's low down already, but there's some case yet. Like this resident says, COVID isn't going anywhere. It's here to stay. Public Health's COVID-19 dashboard showing 43 new cases in the last seven days from August 19th, bringing the total to 62,504 officially reported cases and 416 deaths. It's why health officials are reminding the community to stay vigilant by getting the latest booster shot, washing your hands and staying home if you are sick. And when possible, those over the age of 60 or those with health issues should social distance and wear a mask. Matsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.